blessings. It is the greatest blessing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides someone from you know any other religion or any other way of life to Islam. Islam the, the most perfect and like I was mentioning the covenant that all the prophets and messengers who came with the same covenant that there is no God worthy of, worthy of worship except Allah. And these brothers William and Jordan and Putwi and all these brothers who are from Uganda and this brother from Ramesh, the light of Islam has touched them and inshallah they have understood what is the meaning of Islam and why they are taking this life changing decision and coming into Islam. And they have understood that this is the religion that God Almighty, the one who is the owner and the creator and the originator and the sustainer of everything that exists. God Almighty, who is the only one. There is no other God except uh, uh, other than Him. They have understood that He has He had sent all the prophets and messengers with only one religion. Did you know that? He sent all the prophets and messengers with only one religion. And that was the religion of Islam. And what is this religion? Tell us. What is the, the you know, epitome, what is the, the greatest pinnacle and the, the greatest testament of this religion? The relig what is this Islam? What is it based on? What is the biggest fundamental of Islam? What, it is actually this statement and this, you know, fundamental that is actually Islam. What is it? It is bearing witness and implementing in our lives that there is no God worthy of worship. There is no other God. There is only one God. This is Islam. Submission to the fact that there is no God worthy of worship except one God. And we will worship only Him. What is worship in that sense? When we pray to Him, that is the best form of worship. When we make a supplication or dua. When we call out to someone to help or from, from the unseen. We don't call out to Jesus or Muhammad or Moses or Fulan, Fulan or uh, you know some other people. We call out only to Allah in every situation, in good and bad. When you do that, inshallah, the, the most important aspect of Islam is in you. So you bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. Do you, have, do you understand this? Do you, do you, do you you know, with, with wholeheartedly, with full conviction, do you believe that there is only one God? Jesus is not God or Son of God. He's son of God. No. <laughs> and he, is, he was a noble and one of the best messengers of God Almighty. He was the last messenger before Muhammad He was miraculous, but he was not divine. Like Moses was miraculous, he had the staff and he did miracles. Jesus had some other miracles. Prophet Muhammad also had other miracles. But the greatest miracle that Muhammad who was the last and final messenger of Allah. Do you, do you believe that? Do you believe Muhammad was the last messenger of Allah, of God? Why do you believe that? I will ask you one by one. Why do you believe that Muhammad was the last messenger? <laughs> Any reason, anything that you know about Prophet Muhammad? Don't become and what is becoming Muslim? To worship? Worship. Worship Allah. Only one God. Why do you think Muhammad is the uh, last Muslim? Even, Even the Bible talks about him, mashaAllah. The, the same thing. But what is the best thing that you can say about Muhammad? With beautiful teeth, brothers. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I, think, I think the same. Okay. What about you? He believed in one God. He believed in one God. And after he believed in one God, what did he do? Worship other gods? There are a lot of people believing in one God, right? Even the Christians say that there is one God, the Father. And then the Hindus say there is one final one God, one big head God. But who? what do we do after we believe there is only one God? We say there is no other God beside one God. And we worship only that one God. So that's what Muhammad he taught us, right? Yeah? Prophet Muhammad Sassim taught us to worship only one God. Is that what you believe? Yeah. Yes. What about you, brother? What about you? Do you speak English? Uh, he told me about Urdu. Urdu, my brother. Urdu, my brother.
Yeah, only one guy. Only one. That, that's what you believe. Allah. And what about you? Only one God. Only one God. So as you have seen, my brothers, the reason I went through this exercise, so that you will be on the day of judgment, you will be witnesses to the fact that these brothers have testified there is no God worthy of worship except Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. You didn't have breakfast today. <laughs> so now all you have to do, my brothers, if you believe in this, just repeat after me. And this is a ritual that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu went through and it is mentioned in the Quran many many times and through the whole Quran is actually based on this statement and you have to repeat this after me in Arabic because that was the language Allah God Almighty chose for mankind as for his last and final testament and this is why not only for you for, but for all the brothers and sisters in this masjid it is compulsory the scholars they say it is compulsory it is a fard it is a fard on each and every Muslim to learn Arabic. Because if you don't learn Arabic, how are you going to teach the others who are going to come into Islam, from Islam? Because this is where Allah has preserved the religion of Islam. So bear witness after me and say after me the statement. When I will say, you repeat it. Come on, all of you come together. Come, to, come close to the mic. Say Ashadu. 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 Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa Ashadu. Wa Ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammad. Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God. There is no God worthy of worship. Worthy of worship. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I bear wis. I bear witness. I bear witness. That Muhammad, that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the, is the final messenger, the final messenger of, Allah. of Allah. Now you have entered into Islam, my brothers. Allah. 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 Now that you have entered into Islam, it becomes obligatory on you to learn more about Islam, okay? To learn more. And the first pillar of Islam is what you just mentioned. And the second pillar, the second thing that you need to do is learn how to pray. And the brothers will inshallah explain to you the other pillars of Islam, which are actually 